Hello guys, Flint here from Backyard Blasters. In today's video, we are going to be doing a range test of our um, Colt 1911 shell ejecting toy pistol. Um, got four in the mag. We're going to do two shots with the suppressor on, and then we're going to do two shots without the suppressor. Shed is uh, 60 feet away, 18 meters. Um, yeah, I reckon it's probably going to get, at least it should get at least halfway. Um, the tricky thing will be actually whether we can find the bullets or not because these are in, these are very small. These are almost like like airsoft diameter. Um, okay, yeah, that's, that's difficult to see. But if you want to see the the size of the bullets um, up close, uh, check out the review uh, video that I did of this pistol. Yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Nice, yeah, that was about halfway. Now I'll do the suppressor off. I'm just thinking I've got to keep track of the shells. They are shooting out the side. Okay, here we go. Okay, it actually got a little further with the suppressor removed. Wow, okay, that, that was... Yeah, this, it's not bad. Uh, let's let's check it out. So I do not think you would have seen them on the camera because it was super. They're super tiny. But uh, here we go. We've got our first two. One here, one here, and we are yeah, literally halfway down the uh, from the shooting from where we sh uh, shot from. So we're looking around at least nine meters, which should be somewhere around the 30 foot mark. So there's two, there where the other two. Here we go. This is way closer to the shed. This was the ones without. So those first two we picked up, those were with the suppressor on. Um, this, this will be the one uh, without the suppressor and we're getting considerably closer to be about 13 um, meters somewhere around 45 feet um, yeah I can estimate meters I can't really estimate feet too well yet <laughs> but I'd say around 13 meters there's about um, five more to the shed there could actually put little bits of metal into the, the foam bullet and that way you could actually use a use a metal detector over your field to find them that, that could actually work hmm okay oh wow okay I found the other one the other one's a little further back than that that last one we just found here I'm about 11 meters yeah, a bit over halfway. Yeah, so not bad overall. Um, you, you could use it in an Nerf War, like as long as you were willing, you know, figured out a way you could you know, get your ammo if it was outside, which I reckon just put in a little piece of metal, like into the into the foam. Like uh, you could push a you could push a bit of paper clip, like just in through the end and then and then snip it, so it ran the length of the the foam so it would be something like you could get like a paper clip flatten it push it in there then if you've got a metal detector <laughs> you can you know use it outdoors you've got a, a nice you've got a flat area and um yeah or just use yeah you just use the metal detector to find it if, if you've got one so yeah now the shells that's going to be the tricky, tricky thing to find. In fact, that might even be harder than finding the um, the bullets <laughs> because of the area I've shot them in. Uh, there's one camouflaged very easily. Two. Yeah, and I'll I'll find the other ones hopefully soon. <laughs> but yeah, that completes the the range test of the. 
Trilla Drifting Colt 1911. There she is, in all her glory. Very nice pistol.